catch up with my good friend and classmate, Elisaveta, who's been working on a really cool honors research project. Let's see what she's been up to. Elisaveta! Rodolfo! <laughs> so Elisaveta, I heard you won the poster competition. How do you feel about that? Yeah, I got runner-up. That's really exciting because everyone has worked so hard. Tell us about it. It looks gorgeous. Ah, oh, thank you. So my research, it's in collaboration with Greenpeace and under the supervision of Nikki Hare. So we did some sustainability psychology research, the aim of which is to push New Zealanders towards connectiveness to nature. And so what are some interesting things that you found in your research? What my literature review found was that three, there were three traits that were the most correlated with connectedness to nature. Mm -hmm. And so those are openness to experience, honesty, humility, and agreeableness. Mm -hmm. So what I kind of gathered from that was the individuals that are more creative, fair-minded, and cooperative are more likely to be connected to nature. Yep. While those who are, who are more like resistant to change, <laughs> a bit, you know, like greedy and self-interested, yep. they're less likely to be connected to nature. Mm -hmm. And so what I had to do was sit down and really think deeply about what kind of interventions would be more suitable for those less likely to be connected to nature. And what I stumbled upon was the idea of gamification. Mm. Because gamification allows you to put game elements into non-game context, mm. such as winning prizes or having competition, that could work for those who are a bit more, you know, greedy <laughs> and self-interested. That sounds so cool. Give us an example. Yeah, so geocaching is basically using GPS coordinates to go and find a prize out in nature. And research shows that being out in nature, paying attention to it helps to increase your sense of connectedness to nature. But I think that's what's so fun about my project is that I get to be creative and I get to think of these using existing methods and how I could apply it to my own research. Mm. There's going to be a lot of students sort of watching this and thinking, I want to do honors, I want to do postgrad um, in psychology. What is your advice to them? I think the advice that I would give is to pursue your passions, to do a project and something that you're interested in. I've had a lot of opportunities to go into Greenpeace's premises and like check out what they're doing, um, sit in on some of their interventions and questionnaires that they've been running. So it's been really exciting. I don't think I thought having an experience like this would be possible. It sounds like because you were passionate about it, it sort of you know made things a little bit easier. Oh yeah, no doubt about it. You know, I try to live my life as sustainably as possible. And so coming home and putting in the hours for my dissertation is enjoyable, right? It doesn't feel like a chore because I know that what I'm doing will be used by Greenpeace. It has the potential to help make our world more sustainable. If I heard that someone else was doing this project and not me, I don't, I don't know what I probably would have dropped out. <laughs> Elizabeth, thank you so much for talking to us about your project, your passions, and your award-winning poster. All good. I'm gonna go check out some other cool places at the uni now. See you later. Bye.